up, what up, what up, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever freaking time of day it is. I hope you have the best day ever. So I'm kicking today off. I'm going to go hit up a trail this morning. Uh, I'm going to hit up, uh, it's called the Wisdom Tree Trail. Which is a short, it's a, like a mile and a half trail, uh, a little bit harder terrain, but it's not too shabby. Uh, and it goes up to a nice little a tree that was that's at the top of when you hit the peak of that uh, trail, uh, that it was a part of a fire and it was the only tree that survived the fire that occurred. Um, so they call it the wisdom tree. But it's kind of neat up there. And then the upside of that is after I hit the wisdom tree, I can go on the backside uh, and it takes you up to Mount Summit, the Mount Summit Trail. And then after you hit that one, the North Hollywood is sign or the Hollywood sign is right around the corner from there. Um, and then I can keep going down the trails and head up, end up at the Griffith Observatory. So it's kind of one of those, I get to go through a lot of the big points at, um, I like to see or take pictures of or whatever so it works out so I'm gonna do that this morning so I'm headed out um, bright and early and we're gonna kick today off so I'm gonna get my happy butt on the road and uh, let's kick today off let's get it started up in here so so far the trail has been pretty awesome. It's been an eventful day. Um, just hiking for the afternoon. And we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully I've got a lot of footage to share. Yeah. is toxic so how do we define toxic so according to Webster toxic containing or being poisonous material especially capable of causing death or serious debilitation um, that's one of the many descriptions or definitions on how people identify toxic. The way I want to identify toxic today is as humans, we can be toxic to other humans, to other individuals, to people that surround us, to people that are a part of our life. And the reason I bring that up is because even though you don't see it or you don't realize it or you don't um, correlate the two things together like my behavior is is affecting this other individual's life um, it's it's one of those things that occurs in everyday life and I I bring it up from first-hand experience because in your life you will realize that there's the individuals that end up alone is the reality of it um, you end up alone for one of many reasons and and we like to believe that the number one reason is because we're happy with ourselves and we love ourselves and we don't need anybody else. Point blank, period. And I'm not 
saying that that's wrong or right because I'm a firm believer and a strong believer in loving yourself, taking care of yourself and doing things for yourself and not needing anyone. I support that 100%. Sorry. I support that 100% and I stick behind that 100%. But here's where toxic comes in. From my first-hand experience, I've been told that I drain people and that I take all the energy from them and I make them feel worse and I make their lives miserable and from the moment I enter their lives, their lives turn to shit. Whether or not you choose to believe that or whether or not every single person's life that I've came into has been affected that way is all open to your own interpretation. But it's still a topic that I would like to talk about because it does happen. You are going to have relationships in your life that are for no lack of better words toxic to you. They harm you, they belittle you, they make you less, they they do not allow you to grow or to be happy or to find what you want out of life. And and the example I have is kind of kind of like venom. When something bites you, whether it's a snake or a spider or, or something, it sticks that venom in you and it and it it's not an instant reaction. It starts spreading through your body and you start having the side effects of the venom which can can in a human can be anger, depression, sadness. Um, I don't know. I'm sure the list goes on and on. And you as an individual or you as a person, you have to remove yourself from those situations and be able to walk away from the toxic relationships in your life. And... Sometimes when you do that, you're going to hurt those individuals because maybe in the moment they don't realize that they are the reason this is all happening. That they are the person that has brought you to this juncture, um, to these crossroads. Not that it um, makes it easier to do, but... um, you're being the bigger person and and you're you're allowing yourself to grow and know that there's something else in life for you and that continuing down this path in a toxic bad um friendship relationship um job whatever it might be it doesn't just have to be a relationship i think you can have toxic people around you in different in many different aspects of life whether it's at work whether it's at home, whether it's family, whether it's friend, you're going to have those experiences in your life and you have to be willing to know which ones you can eliminate and and in some situations you're unable to eliminate them like family, but you have to be able to create the distance to allow yourself to continue to grow and become the best version of yourself and find what you want out of life and become the person that's filled with happiness, joy, and looks at life in a positive perspective and as the glass half full. So if you're watching this and you're an individual that people are trying to help you and tell you to get help or to realize you're doing things that can be toxic in a friendship or a relationship, um, please try to take their advice and their help and, and allow them to touch your life and help you in that perspective. If you find someone that really cares enough about you to want to to spend the time and effort to save you or to work with you and to allow you to grow into what they know you're capable of, 
give them the time of day and I know it's easier said than done because sometimes something really bad has to happen for you to wake up and see it um and sometimes it's just too late but I know that there's some of you that might be going through this right now and I think that it's something that maybe the person closest to us telling us we ignore and we don't listen to and we need to hear it from an external or outside source to open our eyes and and allow that information to filter in and collect it and maybe flip that switch of saying man this is what I need to do I need to get help I need to not be the toxic person and not be toxic to the people around me and find a way to change this while I can and before it's too late but as always um, I want you guys to ha I hope you had an amazing day I hope that everything you wanted you accomplished today everything was positive everything was just plain amazing hopefully you didn't sweat the small stuff and you continue to share positive vibes and be the change you wish to see in the world and i'll catch you guys tomorrow